What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay and today we're on the Canton County Free Roam map. As you can see here, quite nice. Uh, we're at Station 3. We'll probably move to somewhere else. So uh, we're just going to kind of uh, fill this out, take a few calls and uh, see what we can get into. So let's go ahead and see about getting started. And I want to see about... Uh, I want to see about getting rid of engine one. Okay, so he's gone. So then let's go back and we will spawn a truck. And I think it's going to be engine three. Three. Do it there. There it is. Sweet. Okay. This one is sharp. I like this one a lot. Very, very cool. Look at that. I think this is, uh, I guess, one of the more uh, detailed uh, engines they have now. And I'm assuming that they're all going to eventually go to this one. But I like this one a whole lot. It is a really, really sharp piece of equipment. So, let's go ahead and hop in. And we're just going to back them in the station. Or I guess we could drive them around. Yeah, let's just back them in. We're right here at it. All right, you guys will have to bear with me on driving this stuff because I cannot use my uh, wheel, at least uh, as far as I know I can't. Maybe there's a trick to it. Uh, hopefully we can get some multiplayer in and uh, some of you guys can give me some uh, insight and tips and stuff like that. So we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we will be able to. Either way, I can't use my, uh, I can't use my wheel right now. Let's hit R, shut that down, and let's hop back out. And uh, we're still kind of hanging out, waiting on a call. All right, so I went in and just uh, forced us to call real quick. So we can get right to this, get moving along. Let's go ahead and you can see it's just literally just like right over there. Looks like the uh, gas station's done going up. So let's go ahead and hop in our engine and we'll get hitting that way. All right, hit the lights. Headlights. And I think we're good. Nice. All right, we got our siren going. Let's get rolling. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> I'm not good at driving with a keyboard. That is for certain. She's a little bit squirrely. But man, it's a really nice, uh, nice piece of equipment. I like it a lot. All right, let's get the siren off. And I don't think there's going to be a hydrant right here yeah it doesn't look like there is so probably what we're going to need to do is bring the tanker as well all right let's park you here and let's hop out and we'll jump in the tanker so let's uh, hit tab go to fire stations uh station two and tanker three and we should be good all right and we'll hit f to open the door nice all right i'm kind of figuring this out a little bit it's a little bit of a learning curve not too bad though. It's not too bad. It's just like all new games, you know, you just kind of kind of figure it out. All right, so let's get out of here. Man, it got dark really super fast. It was looking good for a while. Now it's uh now it's dark. All right, so we got our big uh, jumbo size tanker here. We should have plenty of water with this guy. At least I hope so. And look at the lights. That looks pretty nice over there. I have to admit, that's a nice looking scene. The well involved uh Quick mart fire there. All right, let's, uh, we'll stop him here. Okay, let's hop back out. And let's start establishing a water supply. Get going. All right, here we go. Got that. We'll bring you over here. And we'll hit E to connect. So we should have a supply going to the engine at least i hope so go ahead and get us some gear here Gear, air pack and i think maybe that's all we need for the moment let's close you back out your flashlight going let's go over here and take a peek see what it looks like let's uh check out the area yeah, we definitely have a well-involved structure fire here. I don't know if we can bust those windows out. I may have to test that out in a second. And... 
Got to open rear door. Now, nah, I don't think there's going to be anyone in here. In here. At least I hope not. If they are, they did. <laughs> because we're not going to be able to save them. All right. So, I uh, wonder how could we we bust these windows maybe. Let's test it out and see. Let's test that theory. Let's grab uh let's grab a Halligan, I guess. Running pretty good up against the windows. I don't know. Ah, we can. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's do it then. You know, I am all about breaking some windows and stuff. I love tearing stuff up. Nice. Okay. Just so we can get a little uh, access here. Get a little water in it. We probably could have taken these out with the with the water stream too as well. Nice. All right, let's go put our Halligan back. And we'll get an attack line and get... Start putting some water on it. Let's see, where's Halligan? Okay, there we go. Grab back line stretch it out a bit here and I think we're ready I do believe very nice all right we're getting water on it seems like we're making some headway already we'll have this out in no time then we'll have to go through uh through our mop up and all that good stuff Anyway, if you guys have been checking out the uh, Discord, I went ahead and added a uh, Into the Flames section. I've got some other stuff I want to do too as well. I just, I, I'm having to kind of hit it as I get a chance to do it. So uh, just bear with me. They put a, uh, a multiplayer channel uh, for everyone to kind of uh, gather and organize things too. So we'll just have to kind of see how it works out. But uh, I am working on it. Like I said, just bear with me. I've got uh, yet another function to go to uh, with my kids' school tonight, so it's been just like a busy week. It really just has. It's been a busy week. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're doing good. We haven't made entry yet, but uh, we're gonna hit it from the outside. It runs so well on my system. I'm really just blown away by that. It really just does. Like I have zero, absolutely zero issues with anything. So that part, let's get our air going. That part is really, really nice. Oh yeah, it's uh, a bit smoky in here. And uh, someone made a comment on the other video, you don't want a fog. It is a fog. I'd ask what uh, what this, uh, let's get to it. There we go. What that spray pattern is. And it is a fog. I thought it was, but I wasn't certain. So, uh, they say, you know, we'll put fog on fire. And this is an aspect that I never think about. I always forget about this. Is this like a huge part of firefighting too, as far as I understand, is the steam. Like uh, a fog uh, turns to steam and then uh, I guess it could basically cook you. So uh, that is a big deal, most definitely. It'd be cool one day to see uh, a firefighting, firefighting simming like get into that uh, aspect of it, like the heat dynamics and the fire, you know, all that kind of stuff and steam. And I mean, there's so much to it. There's so much to it than just having a flame and putting water on it, you know, but uh, all that stuff is above me, you know, I, <laughs> I just kind of figure it out as you guys tell me. All right. I think we're good in here, right? Like we got the fire out. We're good to go. I think we are. It's daybreak, so uh, we did a good job. Nice. All right, good job, Spur. We did it. We uh, we put it out. We saved the quick mart. It looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, putting our stuff back. Take our air off. Uh, we'll hit. I think E will put it back, right? Yep. And we'll have to get our supply line too. Do that. If we just click it. Uh, no. Maybe we come over here and just grab it off the truck itself. That's a cool tanker. I wonder how much of a dent we put in that. I don't imagine we did. Imagine we did. Oh, wow. Looks like we got planes flying over. Nice. An active world. 
All right, let's, can we push back now? Yes, okay, so we had to disconnect it and do it that way. So I think what we're gonna start doing is, uh, oh, we got another fire. Okay, where is this at? We got an electrical fire, not too far down the street there. You can see, uh, it looks like it's to the left and down and then on the dirt road there. So I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll respond to that. Go ahead and hop in and get rolling. Busy day. Busy day for the FDCC, FD Canton County. Right, let's keep backing up here. And I guess we'll go out this way and make a left. All right, we're rolling to our next call. It's gonna be for a electrical fire, whatever that is. I really don't know. You guys are gonna find out when I get there. Let's see, it looks like it's going to be uh, a farm structure or something here. Ah, uh, yeah, a barn. Someone's barn's done going up. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be the same deal. We're gonna need that tanker over here. All right, so let's park you here. Let's hop out. And I guess we'll grab the tanker. Pull you up, go to fire stations, and it was uh, station two, right? I hope so. Yes, right, sweet, okay. Um, question is, we need to turn you around. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess we'll pull through. Pull through this way. Hopefully, I'm hoping this last fire didn't put a dent in our water supply in this because uh, if it did, we're going to be in trouble, guys. Like, we'll have to take it and fill it somewhere, I guess. Or maybe uh, procure another tanker. Off on the gas. Turn, turn, turn. Ooh, she don't want to turn. Man, she's got a wide turn radius. All right. Go back to the left. Now we rolling. Okay. And the big tanker. Like a na nice uh, Mac R, right? Definitely tankers are a thing around here. That is for certain. Right, let's go ahead and kill that. Kill that siren there. And we'll roll up. Like so, and go through the routine again. All right, let's get another supply line. Wonder, surely there's a way to, to know, like, how much... Um, how much water you have on this. I mean, it's probably something I'm missing. I, I, I don't know. It, it'd be cool to find out. Grab a supply line. Come back over here, hook you up again. And I think we're good with that. So we should just be able to grab the attack line and start putting water on it, right? Get right at it. Grab our supply line. Come on. You it. Oh, attack line. Never mind. First confused. I'm confused this morning. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right. So deal down here and we'll go to first. Putting some water on it. There we go. Very nice. These barn fires will get you. Man, it's going good in here. Ah, I've really enjoyed this. I, I'm so, like, thoroughly blown away with how well this runs on my system. Like I said, my system... Goes through this like a hot knife through butter. Let's get our mask going. Goes through it like a hot knife through butter, you know, and then wants more. I mean, it runs really, really well. I haven't seen the first stutter or uh, lag or anything. Like, I haven't seen any kind of uh, wonkiness in the performance of this, which is really, really, really super nice. You know, you guys know I enjoy Merge and YC as well. I, I like all games. I'm a fan of all games, but uh, that one, it seems like at times I'm really just, it's like fighting against me, you know, to, to put it that way. 
So it is really, really super nice and refreshing to uh, to get in another firefighting sim and uh, not have to worry about that stuff. We all right. It didn't tell me it's under control. So there we go. Okay, Nottingham Farms, nice. Another one down. Get your mask off. And let's get back out of this. Okay, there we go. And let's drop you with Jay. Try to go through these controls. So, you know, you guys that aren't familiar with it. And it's a reminder to myself as well. Uh, so we can kind of figure it out. But now I think I can go over here. And we, yeah, we can just uh, left click and return all hoses. Did it work? It did. Minus the supply. So we'll have to disconnect it. We can grab you and... Sweet. All right, another one down. Okay, maybe uh, we can get some equipment back to the station because we're going to have to fill this guy up with water. Are there any more calls? Uh, electrical fire. Is that where we just went or is this a different one? Because I'm kind of wondering now. Is that a different fire? I don't know. Um, maybe it's this one way up here. I, oh, there's another one too. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got multiple fires. Okay, I don't want to go to that one way up there. But we may go check this one out uh, that's a little closer to us there. Just north of that lake. Alright, let's pull you back down and... Damn, I guess we'll jump in the uh, engine and head up that way and then uh, bring the tanker. Maybe there's a hydrant. Is there a hydrant up there somewhere? Oh, there's not. Man, this is definitely the boonies out here. Busy day. See, how are we going to do this? Ah, now the sun's coming up. Nice. I've noticed this. It cycles through day and night really fast. Let's hold tight. Spurs so got to figure out where we're going here for just a second. Uh, through this, okay, through this intersection, the next intersection, and then I think a left. And hopefully we won't get lost. All right, so through this one. And I think we turn left at the next one, correct? All right, let's hold tight just a second and see here. Uh, yes, okay. We make our left here. We should be getting close. Should be getting close enough to see. Figure it out. Alright, we should be here. Let's go ahead and kill that. Roll in silent. Uh, question is... Now I see. It's uh, back on the other road. Okay, never mind. We're confused on the call location. I'm sure that's probably true, especially in rural areas. Like, having a little confusion as far as, like, exactly where it's at. And how to get to it. Luckily, we spotted the smoke. We, we may not need the tanker for this. This may not be like a full-blown fire. This may be just a little something we need to go knock out real fast here. All right, here we go. Let's hop out. Let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a breaker box on our house. Is uh, I guess the meter maybe or something? I don't know. All right, I do remember this from the tutorial. I did, uh, I did kind of go through the tutorials. 
So we are going to grab an extinguisher and extinguish it. There we go. Nice. All right. Maybe they had a power surge or something. Never know. Oh, I can shut it off. But I can't spray. Why am I not spraying? Why are you not spraying? There we go. Okay, now we got it. Nice. Okay, we got it. Sweet. Okay, so you have to right click and then left click. Right, right click is like aiming. And then left click is spraying. So we got it. Sweet. Okay. Turn all the breakers off there so they don't burn their house down the rest of the way. Sweet. All right. Crisis averted. We've done good. 25 Pine Road is now under control. And it sounds like we got another call. It is busy. They're just pouring in. They're pouring in. All right, let's put you away. Let's see what our next call is now. Uh, we still got that one up there. I really, really don't want to go all the way up there. One in town there. We could jump to another station if we wanted to. What do we got here? Uh, okay, so that must be the car fire up at the airport. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. So what we're going to do is take that and end it. That works. Under control. Nice. Okay, so now we've got a fire in the living room, and that's going to be this one way up here. Uh, what station is that? I don't know what station this is. Um... Geez, I don't know, guys. I want to kind of figure out what station that is so we can just jump over there to it. I don't know. All right, it's station six. Okay, sweet. So who is in station six? We can take here. Uh, another really nice engine. All right, I guess we'll take this guy then. We left the other one uh, at the other scene. We'll just pretend someone else is taking care of that. Let's go ahead and get lights with L, headlights with H. And it should just be like right around here somewhere. I should be able to go up the street. Then over. But like I won't get lost here. Like I have no clue where I'm going. Maybe down this way. Yeah, I see the smoke. Most definitely. We got a fire going. Yes. Yes, sir. It's burning. All right, let's see. We got to figure out our hydrant situation here. Let's go back to the map real quick. Uh, This is the only one we got right here. Okay, so that like worked out absolutely perfect. Let's get back out of you. There we go. All right, I think we can hit... J, nice. All right, let's hop out and turn the hydrant on. Go ahead and get that done so we don't have to worry about it. Hydrant wrench. We'll have to run all the way back. All right, we're good. All right, now let's run over here, and we should be good. All right, here we are. Let's hop out. Uh, we got our air good to go. Uh, look like we have access. Yes, we do. All right, sweet. Is it only that one? I don't know. It looks like it's spread to uh, multiple units. Yeah, it's like fully involved, the whole, uh, whole road. All right, let's grab the tight line. We'll get started on this one. Hit E. Not gonna worry about bringing any other trucks. I think it'd get a little bit complicated for me at that point. So we're just gonna kind of uh, go with the one and uh, just focus on the mechanics right now. Okay, we're doing good though. I think we're making headway.
That window busted out. What was that one? Your mask. First person. All right, into the flames. All right. I'm always confused on the whole venting thing. Sometimes you see the venting, like, you know, pro-venting, and sometimes they say don't. Sometimes they say vent to let the heat out. Sometimes they say don't vent because then you add oxygen. So um, I guess that all depends on, like, the location where you vent. You know, I guess uh, venting, like, the roof or where the heat can escape is better than opening windows. But, you know, you watch videos of the uh, New York Fire Department and they're like going ham on windows. Like they're busting every damn window they can find. So it's like, well, okay. At least it seems that way. They love to bust some windows. You know, Spirit does too. I'm all about busting some windows out. Ah, yeah, we're making good headway on this one. Nice. All right, let's vent. Hopefully it won't reignite. I'm not sure if the deal with the uh, the house the other day, if that was just kind of like a fluke or, or what, but, and it did. It went up big time when I hit those windows. Get them all here. I think we're good. Wow, there's still, there's still fire in here. Never mind. Now we're good. Seems like it's definitely making a little bit of a difference, right? Like, it definitely made a difference. Um, what else we got down here? We got the back door. We can open it up. Nice. Okay, that's good to go. And we're going down to the next one. I think this one. Well, it's cool that it spread. It looks like it started in one and spread to adjoining. So that's cool. That's one thing I always said. An aspect I'd like to see in these sims is the uh, urgency to save things, you know, like to, uh, to to have a purpose of getting in there really fast and getting water on it before it gets out of hand. Of course, when it's a one-man show, it's really super hard, though. Like, you, you have to do things within the confine of being one person. That doesn't look like... So we're not supposed to fog, but I'm going to fog. Didn't it here? It's on the other side of the wall. I think that's why we're having trouble with it. Well, windows? Yes, we do. Let's hit that. All right, I think we're good. Nice, we got it. Sweet. We did it successfully, and we didn't die this time either, which is always a plus, right? All right, we'll finish venting a little bit, and uh, we'll pack up and call it a day. I think this was a, uh, a good free roam episode for us here. Oh, yeah, it cleared up real nice. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. Go back to that mode. Take our mask down. That's uh, our second Into the Flames episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I sure did as usual. Want to uh, once again thank the developer for uh, making this possible. I do appreciate it, uh, providing the ability for me to do this and check his game out. Uh, I have enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Love all you guys. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Share it with your brothers and your sisters and your aunts and your uncles and your grandparents, everyone. And uh, with all that said, we'll catch you uh, in Canton County next time. Peace.